Thank you for joining this interview, Professor Miriam Balabat. I'm very happy to see you. It's my pleasure always to see you and to be involved in desalination. Thank you. So I just want to ask you some of the important questions for desalination and project for science world and for Professor Joe. And if you can just make it sure and clear, it will be very much appreciated. Thank you. First of all, my... I will ask a question, this one. Yeah? And my question is, uh, how do you see the future of desalination? What technology are most likely to emerge in the next 10 years in your experience? Well, first of all, there's a great need for desalination. The population is growing. Yeah. The need for water is increasing. The lack of water is also a big problem. So that we have a big challenge to create the same or new ways to use the water in the ocean and perhaps yeah. find other solutions. Uh, what technology, this is a difficult question because there might be new technologies. It's just that as thermal desalination was the beginning from my experience in the journal of desalination, and, uh, and then the membrane technologies emerged. And now there are various branches of either, so that it's difficult to say which, and I think all uh, would be based on these, yeah. and perhaps new will emerge also. Uh, the increase in the solar the possibilities of solar energy and thermal and uh, wind energy are uh, increasing. In oh. the beginning of my experience, these were considered perhaps impossible because of the great land that was needed for solar. But now, the new, these new technologies, the, uh, the um, uh, renewable energies are increasingly important and uh, possible, it seems. All right, so renewable is one of the most likely yeah, technology in the future. Renewable. And, uh, Renewables. Yes, yes. That's, that's and uh, anything that lowers energy requirement, this is the great thrust today, lowering energy. Yeah. With all the technologies, you see this is the challenge. All right. Okay. How about uh, your opinion from Korean desalination project and progress? So a lot of projects already we have delivered in Korea, and then now they have uh, first uh, Korea desalination plant, one hundred thousand cubic meter per day, bigger one in Desan. So how do you see Korean desalination project and desalination progress? First of all, I'm always impressed with the Koreans from the beginning until today. I think the Koreans, the Korean, the young people who are emerging and uh, the training that you have is so intense and so good. I'm always impressed with this. So I think that uh, there's no question that the Koreans will always be in the front of this field or in many fields because I'm, I'm really impressed with the training that you have here and the, the response of the young people. All right. How about any improvement they require for their progress in this desalination? Well, there's no question. Desalination is everything, but the thing is I'm impressed with the speed and intensity yeah. of your participation, my participation in conferences mm -hmm. and Koreans all over the world in other meetings and that it's enabled uh, by, I guess, by the government, by the institution, to uh, the education system, yep. to have the Koreans All right. seen everywhere, prominently. <laughs> so how about, the, what is the difference between the perception of the seawater desalination technology from civilians and engineers? Uh, how do you ah, feel? Well, civilians, I think, very often say, oh, it's expensive. <laughs> um, it doesn't taste good. Uh, they don't even know the difference between mm -hmm. 
whether they're drinking desalinated water or not, or the bottled water. So that civilians, I think, very often do not have the proper uh, concept or perception of desalination. They don't even know when they're drinking desalinated water or not. So that uh, this is different. I think engineers perhaps have a little more knowledge about the process and uh, its safety or its taste. How we can change the civilian uh, perception? Well, uh, <laughs> I think like everything, yeah. everything it's advertising. Uh -huh. uh, right now, bottles are considered the best. Yeah. Any bottled water, whatever it's in it, mm -hmm. is considered very good. Yes. Yeah. But, uh, but not desalinated water. I mean, as a right. concept. Yeah. Okay. Also, this is a little bit different question based on the Professor Taewon's science world. Uh, he's asking about uh, what's the, um, your opinion for nutrient recovery from urine, whether this can be commercialized in the future, what do you think about it? Well, it's the greatest source of <laughs> waste. Yes. It's the greatest a permanent, uh, secure source. Yeah. Uh, the thing is, like everything in commerce, or everything that we do, it's become more and more commercial. Yeah. So it's a matter of how do you sell it? How do you sell the idea again? Again, uh, as we were saying before about the concept of civilians and engineers or anybody, uh, I think they're it would be uh, the concept. So it's a matter of how you sell it or, or how it's disguised. I mean, I think all the uh, pharmaceutical companies don't always tell what's in their products. Now, hopefully, they're good. And sometimes we find they have made mistakes, mm -hmm. very big mistakes. So thalidomide, so uh, opiates, and so on. So uh, we hope that the companies would be reliable. I mean, we expect and we rely mm -hmm. on the fact that we could make or that it's up to us, the community, desalination community and water treatment communities to have good products. But the thing is, how do you sell a concept uh, that's maybe distasteful to people? Uh. It's a clear supply but it has to be uh, commercialized or uh, promoted in a way that, uh, mm -hmm. that's acceptable. Okay. I agree with you completely. Sorry? I, I agree. agree. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, right. So this is the uh, last question. And it doesn't have to be emphasized as such. It yep. can be honestly yes. indicated, but... Sure. So what advice would you give to science world and project? And this is standard money because the professor tried to implement thesis standard money and then make the people to donate their thesis for the honorary by director and then give us some credit, appreciation, uh, kind of uh, some information or some credit to yeah. sell. So, we just say FSM, yeah. So how do you feel for the science Walden and FSM implementation in the future for human waste recovery? I don't know if that would sell at <laughs> FSM. I mean, again, I think yeah. it's the same as urine, mm -hmm. uh, that it would be waste, recovery of waste. What's the difference? I mean, there are wastes mm -hmm. that today are recovered, all sorts of waste. So why is this so different? This is the most permanent waste. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I, I I don't think that just emphasizing it as such would be uh, the solution. I think having it, and of course honestly indicating, mm -hmm. but the emphasis <laughs> might not sell. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so like the people, okay, they collect their thesis yeah. and then there are some reactor like the anaerobic bioreactor 
then put the, their feces inside the reactor and then they want to generate methane from yeah. human feces and then we want to give them some reward like oh you donate your feces and then we create the, your methane for energy and how we can give back so some reward can be like oh you have a like a mileage card you have an airplane and the mileage you can utilize later on when you never need it something like uh, uh, FSCM reward mm, the concept how this will be I don't know this might work in populations that are very needy of yes. the money mm -hmm. but uh, again wouldn't it be the same as with urine to have some kind of an automatic system going straight for the toilet okay. <laughs> <laughs> that, that might uh, be more useful. You might start with taking populations that would be, or dedicated important people who would do this as samples, as an example, uh, who would do this. But it seems to me that it should lead to uh, just in some automatic system straight from the toilet. All right. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. speaking about the uh, likelihood yes. of acceptance, mm -hmm. if they don't accept just desalinated water, which is mm -hmm. oh, from the sea, okay, but uh, saying that the taste isn't good or maybe it's not healthy, so why would they accept using species? So I think it's a matter also, I think it's a very good, noble concept and a, a, a secure supply, but um, it should be again a, matter, a way of selling, and as you said, perhaps as Professor Joe suggests, perhaps the, it would start with population.